Hello everyone, my name is Farhan Abdul Majid and today I will attend the first SDG Talks of 2023 and the title is, Is Economics Still Relevant Today? A discussion with Nobel Prize winner Professor Ben Holmstrom and welcome to Takeaways. Thank you very much, Professor Holmstrom, for our talk at the SDG Talks. Uh, it's very interesting discussions and we are discussing a lot of things. My first question is about, the big question about our discussion is, is economics still relevant today? And uh, I think the most important thing is about how we measure the economy, about the GDP that we have now, GDP and a lot of criticism on that, and now we are living in a changing world. W uh, what do you think about that? So the GDP measure which doesn't match what we would like to measure, namely people's willingness, aggregate willingness to pay for something, it measures just what it costs, then, then uh, that's getting to be very sort of misleading, is my view. And there are estimates about that. And, and so I, I think we are going to have to find some additional measures to ref reflect this feature of, of the digital world. We are living now in the climate change and uh, it's pretty catastrophic to m most of the people around the world. And what do you think about uh, understanding the comments will help us understanding the climate change and tackle these climate issues? It's a gigantic topic and it's of course one of the burning topics today and it's sort of an existential question, presumably, for, for the humankind. So I picked on a very small point we, we have these efforts to get uh, all the world to come to an agreement about, you know, no, nothing going over 1.5 centigrade increase, which seems to almost surely be exceeded. Uh, and I just brought up that, uh, that first of all, this 1.5, this measuring, what's the difference between 1.5 and, say, 2 centigrade? It's gigantic in terms of what it does to the world. You know, people, the ordinary man or woman who hears this says <laughs> half, a, half a percentage, uh, half a degree hotter, you know, Finns will be where I come from, you know, would be delighted because it, it's, it, it will be a little bit warmer. But the problem is that this average temperature, I think, is a bad measure. It's, it's the fluctuation, it's the oscillation of temperature and these storms and hurricanes and others that follow it is what, what what I think should be advertised to the people. My main takeaway from this lecture is his quote. I'm quoting him that economics, they sometimes underestimate the problems and they overestimate their tools and models. And it's very interesting for me because I was not trained in economics, I was trained in international relations, understanding political economy and everything. But from the, an economist who talks up something like that is very interesting. Why? Because we need to do, tackle the real world problems. And from this lecture, we talk about two main problems, about the climate change, and the second one is about the new development of the digital platform economy. It's matter because first, it will co we should connect all the disciplines together to tackle these problems. And the second one, we should empower the people. Because why? Because it's the people who matter the most.